Okay, guys, the Viper Termite Darts review begins right now. Okay, guys, it is darts review time. We've got an entertaining video for you today. I hope you guys sit back, relax, have a bit of fun, and I'm sure you're gonna get a few laughs along the way because in today's video, I'll be taking a close up look and reviewing the Viper Termite darts. Now, to be honest, up until a couple days ago, up until a few days ago, I'm not even sure if I've heard of these things. I've probably seen a few pictures of them online. However, I had a subscriber, Brock, he left me a message on my Frankenstein video and he said he'd like to see a hat trick or a 180 with these darts. Now, to, to be honest, as of the recording of this video, I have not hit a 180 with these things. It's going to be challenging. However, I'm not gonna upload a review video without hitting a 180, so you can guarantee there's one on the end of this one. But um, yeah, I picked them up at Amazon USA. They were like six bucks. And when I saw them, I'm like, all right, I'll make a video. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. Again, hope you guys have a bit of fun and a few laughs along the way while I review the Viper Termite Darts. Here we go. Alrighty guys, here we go with the Viper Termite Novelty Darts. Comes in this tiny little compact packaging. You know what, even though these are novelty darts, like I just said, hey, that's pretty cool to see, right? Lifetime barrel warranty. So yeah, you can't really complain about that. Now, as far as this goes, 4.5 grams advertised. I don't know where they came up with that because as you're about to see in the next clip, they're quite a bit heavier than that. So yeah, that 4.5 grams, I have no idea where they got that. And this is kind of cool. Flight slides into the barrel, no shaft needed. So there's the packaging. Let's check out these tiny little things. And obviously they're designed or they come as a soft tip dart. We're gonna run them as steel tip darts for the rest of the video. As you're about to see, I got a little surprise for you here in just a couple clips. But um, there's the, th there's the uh, barrel. That's all one piece right here. Just a one piece brass design. The flight slides into the back of the barrel there. Let me screw this back in. But yeah, I mean, look how absolutely tiny these things are. We've got a little neural section and they do come with these slim flights. However, look how small they are. Here is a normal slim flight. Whoops, come on. There's a normal slim flight compared to how small these ones are. Shout out to Edgar TV. But yeah, everything about these is absolutely ridiculous, absolutely tiny, but there they are. Let's go into the next clip and hit you with all these crazy stats and dimensions. Okay, guys, time for some of the most unusual rotating stats and dimensions you're going to see on this channel. And you know how we always start with the points? Well, I guess we can do that here. Now, these are classified as a soft tip barrel. They came with soft tip points. However, for the entire rest of this video, we're going to run them as steel tip darts. And for now, just temporary, I have a set of golden target titanium conversion points. Now I'm gonna switch those up here in just a couple minutes, and I think you're gonna like what I'm gonna to do to these darts. Now, as far as the rest of this one piece barrel, they're made of brass. The entire length here, all this one piece, 30 millimeters long, and at the widest point, of course, right on this knurled section, 7.4 millimeters wide. Now you saw the box earlier in the video, they were advertised as 4.5 grams. I have no idea where they came up with that number. I took the points off, and I just weighed the barrel and the flight, and they were 5.8 grams. So um, yeah, a little bit heavier than advertised, and they're actually gonna be a little bit heavier when I change out the points and put on the new points. So we're gonna get to that here in just a second. But yeah, I guess that's it for the stats and dimensions. Let's roll into the next clip, and I'll show you how I'm gonna grip these things, and I'll give you a quick grip level. Okay, guys, let me hit you with a grip level here. Nah, you know what, Never mind. It doesn't matter with these darts, obviously. They're brass, they're knurled. You guys know they're gonna be slippery, right? But what does matter is my ability to be able to throw these at a dartboard and have them stick. Like this, it's not gonna happen. So obviously I have to use some sort of conversion point. You saw the golden titanium conversion points for the stats and dimensions. But for the throwing part of the video, check this out. I just remembered I had this. It's the Target 2BA Swiss converter system. So you can switch any set of soft tip darts into steel tip darts. So I'm gonna use one of these setups I'm not quite sure. We've got the 30 millimeter target Swiss storm points and we've got a 35 millimeter uh, diamond. What is that? A gold diamond pro point. So we'll try this first, see how that looks. And again, I haven't thrown these yet. I haven't tested them out. So I don't know what's going to work, but we're either going to throw them like that. Hey, that looks pretty cool, right? Or 
we'll use, probably gonna use this um, Target Swiss Storm. I think I'm gonna go with this setup right there. So yeah, what do you think of that? That's what we're gonna do, one or the other, I don't know. That gold setup looks pretty good though, right? 35 millimeter golden points there. So yeah, let's get these things on the board. Uh, this is hilarious. Let's get these things on the board, see how they fly. And I, how am I gonna hit a 180 here? This is gonna be challenging. Here we go. <laughs> okay guys, here we go. So just had a bit of a warm up. And just so you know, I went with the Target Swiss Storm setup on the front end. It bumped the weight up a little bit, 9.6 grams now. So the darts are ever so slightly more manageable. Now, here's what we're gonna do today. If you guys recall, or hopefully you watched my last video with the prototype darts, the Target Carrera 4. At the end of that video, I played same thing here, one leg of cricket against the Dart Connect bot. I ended up winning that. However, it was a nice set of darts, right? Anybody should be able to throw a decent set of barrels fairly well, right? However, can I repeat the feat with the Viper Termite darts? <laughs> We're about to find out. Same exact thing, as you see there. Dart Connect software, level 10, one leg of cricket, and yes, I am going first. So, any advantage I can get, I'm taking. All right. Off to a good start, hopefully. Oh, oh. What a lucky third dart, right? Hey, if we're gonna get some luck in this leg, I sure will take it. And oh, reminder, friendly reminder, when you're playing cricket, that last dart was a triple, not a treble. Look at that. How did that get in there? All right, a little bit of a lead. Should I shut down the 19s? Oh, wrong side of the wire. Three close ones and only one counted. Right in the treble two, ah, triple two as well. Triple seven, triple 19. That was almost a great turn. All right, 18s. Well, I'm all in the triples. And pressure shot, double. Oh, no. Yeah, I actually have my, um, let's see, my pointer finger right on the nose cone of the Swiss conversion point there. Let's see, uh, not too much damage. Let me get the point lead back. Oh, right down the middle, 118. And then, ah, oh, that was a bullseye. So, hey, that was pretty good. 60 for points, close the 18s. We're up 3.5 marks per round as of right now. Uh-oh, 17's gotta go. Is that in? Yes, 15's right next door. Ah, 15s right next door. All right, triple 17, single 15. Now let's see what's gonna happen. No damage yet, up by 11 points. <sighs> Come on. That is the nail in the coffin. Mm. Take that. Uh-oh. Oh no, I spoke too soon. Oh. That is a miss. 
Hey, there goes a good 4.2 mark per round average. Wow, okay, yeah. That'll teach me for speaking too soon. Normally it would have been a wrap. Now I'm in a little bit of trouble. All right, point lead. Come on, get in. <laughs> Whoa, all right. And the game drags on. That was a wicked bounce out. Oh man, I'm just getting in a lot of trouble here. What the heck? All right. <laughs> Gives me a one point lead. Come on, bullseye. I think that's in. Yes. Nice comeback. Nice comeback from the computer. So triple for points, single, double. Third dart, end match, save match. All right, 3.6 marks per round with the Viper Termites, and that was with an open round as well. So hey, I think I'm throwing these pretty good, right? We'll take it. So you know what's coming, guys. I, like I said, I wouldn't leave you hanging. We're gonna go into a 180. We got a couple outtakes at the end. And that's it for the video. And now, oh, I just felt, oh yeah. Got a nice burr from that bounce out. I'll have to fix that with my sharpening stone here. So yeah, let's roll into the uh, next couple clips. Hope you enjoy them. Here we go. Perfect. I was thinking there was going to be another deflection. As you're going to see, we got a couple outtakes for you at the end. But hey, we got it done. That was a perfect right, left, middle. And to be honest, that wasn't too bad. I was recording for about eight minutes prior to this. I had to shut the camera off for a while, had to go do some things. And I've been recording now about three minutes. So yeah, that wasn't too bad, right? About 10 minutes in total. So hey, there it is, guys. I wouldn't let you down with the 180 at the end with the Viper Termite darts. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thumbs up for that 180, right? Definitely got it done there. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of it. Let me know what you thought of these darts. Let me know if you think they're worth $6. So yeah, I, I thought they made for a fun video and uh, definitely would do it again. If you guys know of some other unusual darts you want to see me review, let me know. And I will be very happy to comply because, yeah, I had a lot of fun making this video. And uh, surprisingly, these things throw not too bad. And again, yeah, for six bucks, might as well throw them in the collection, right? So I'm definitely going to hang on to these ones. And I finally have a good use for the um, Target 2BA conversion system there. Perfect for these darts. So, um, that's it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. Stay tuned. Just a couple, two little outtakes for you. And um, they, were the, uh, they were actually the two misses prior to me just hitting that 180. So until next time, guys, we will see you on the next video. How to get them in there. Later. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't have taken the time to look. Ah. Oh.